welcome back it's tanya from tatty treasures um another week has passed so it is monday again and um i am going to do part six of the shabby dabby doodah mask makes and these are side loading pockets so i've done one What's a right facing and one what's a left facing. So I think these have come out really cute. I have found with um, doing the project with the Tim Holtz paper, I mean, I'm not a, a great one for over decorating things anyway. I do like things quite um, minimal and. Um, but the papers are that nice and detailed. Sometimes I do find it really hard to to decorate them. But um, I th think this one it project it has allowed me a little bit to to add some decoration. So I shall just show you what they'll look like in a in a journal. I still need to cut cut all these pages down and that is something that well it's actually for for autumn i don't know if i've showed you this cover or not I made it ages ago I made th three or four with my granddaughter who's six this is life before um lockdown um so yeah we had a session of when she came to stay we did some some collage in, and it turned out absolutely fabulous at first i was just you know doing them as um just you know a4 pieces and i was gonna um use them as and when and then when they was done i said oh they're absolutely fabulous i met lovely covers so i just did a, a twirly um stitch around them to make sure it was all done and then just zigzag some craft paper and so it's quite quite a nice um feels really soft i didn't much podge this one um but yeah it feels really soft so yeah this is going to be a woodland themed journal but i've literally just popped some some papers papers in i don't know if this will be um how it ends up or or not i'm just just in the thought process so you could either you know just clip this in with a paper clip could always put some plain um paper at the back to to be able to journal on the back or you could you know stick it in could do it around the three sides and have that as a tuck underneath as well and then it'd be be a nice double tuck or again i don't think it'd be so good unless you got a long thin tag you could have it a top loading pocket um these are actually gonna go into tns so obviously i'm trying to make the pieces with with that in in mind so this is like a regular size um piece of card what would be for a traveler's note but so that's kind of what you're looking at in in a in that kind of and then this is obviously a an a5 so they it looks nice in in either so that is that i shall show you how how I made them. Um, in the Tim Holtz paper, um, you know, you obviously get, well, it was a 12 by 12 pad and you get your sheets of, of six at the back. So these are just six by six sheets. Um, obviously you could do it with any size paper, you know, card stock that, that you wanted to doesn't have to be this size but I just thought it was a great way to to use the six by sixes up and I have just folded them and just left this this piece um gaping out 
at the back. So I folded it in about two and a half, two and a half. So I folded it. Let's have a look at that. Yeah, so I folded it at, oh no, about two and three quarters in. And then, so that's left that three quarter of an inch gap. Um, this is obviously double sided. If you'd only got single sided, you could, um, you know, put some book page on or some music paper or whatever. So I did the first one and I didn't round the corners and then the second one I rounded the corners and I, d I do, I think I do prefer it rounded. Just looks at, just a little bit more soft. So I'm going to do do all the corners. That's that. And then I picked at the again after the six by six in the pads. You then get these little ACTs, um, which are the regular four by three size. Um, so I've picked the coordinating ones to match match the actual pocket. So I'll just round you round them off and then I'll just give it just an ink round just to get rid of rid of the whiteness and make it all all fit in. So that's that. I think I'm using the, the gathered twigs but um the darker um, one looks fine as well on this one. So that's that. Put my lid on. Um, so all I've got out is some, oh dear, eyelash trim, some burlap couple of different these are like burlap trims so a little leaf one and a flower one <coughs> some is this Grossman ribbon so it's got the texture in it which I thought was big you know good for the grabbing hold of it and pulling it out and then just these laces just got these off ebay i like these because you can i'm not going to turn out because i wanted to keep it into a three so you can just tear it so it comes in it actually comes in four um so then you you know you've got the choice of ripping it down to to the width that you want it so i do like using this um i have just got it in the green and brown but that green is lovely it's a real deep olive color so that's that um so let's see if we want i've done them so far both in the in the green this one might take take the brown let's have a look I'm trying to get to the end Yeah, so I like the, the brown with that one. So I'll get my fine liner. Oh. I wonder if that snapped. I think I've pulled the nozzle out. Oh dear. <laughs> right, let me just pause and, and sort it out. Right, some back. Yeah, I'd actually snap the um, the 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 needle parts off. I don't know if I can. I've I've just put another top on it for now. I'll have a mess about with it later. So I don't know if I can pull it out. I think I've not been putting this back on as soon as I've used it, and I think. It's kind of got clogged up inside here um, and then obviously it's glued itself together uh, and then the glue's that strong that um, 
it's pulled the nib off so it's funny because um it says no clogging but obviously that's when you put the keep the pin in it um but i really do like these oh if you look at that there oh so it is just a needle thing so yeah it looks as if um i have got some of these tops somewhere I show have a mess with it but yes yeah, so i was this was going to be in my um what i've bought this this month and i was going to absolutely rave about it but um yeah i don't know if it's kind of the way i've been treating it or or maybe they're not as good as i originally thought but um i was really loving them mm, not so much now <laughs> but yeah it's probably probably my fault um but i find even with my glasses on i really do struggle with with getting the fine nib in into that hole um and i don't think it's even my eyes so much um, it, it's just me and tiny fiddly things um just not not very good at it so i must i know another time when i was videoing i did keep putting my um my dangly one in and i did find that that was easier to keep popping popping in and out um it doesn't properly fit the nib but um i've got a bit of, a bit of cotton on that um but yes, it would have stopped it from from clogging up just why I was um, using it. So I must remember to keep putting it on. But I'm thinking I'll probably be able to mend, mend that other one. Right. So... I'm, just place the lace down there down the edge oh you know I'm gonna put this in and then I need it in a tick and that's what I find every time I do put it in and then I'm like but I need it straight after so what's the point uh, but I must do because I need to get into that get into the habit so I'm just gonna run a bead of glue across this top when it decides to, to come down, that's it. Just go around the corner a bit just to, to get it because the cards are, are a lot smaller. And just makes it a bit more, more secure. Right, put this nib in. Just give it, give it a rub, so it all, all sticks down. So that's that. Um, I think I'd, I just before um, I started, I literally just went through my die cuts, and these labels are. I just cut a few out there from Shabby Dabby Doodle. Um, the, the first time that, that I've used them, I have had them for a couple of weeks, but there was in my Please Cut, cut Me pile, uh, which I haven't got to yet. So I, I just cut a few out just for this um, project. My fingers don't seem to be working today. So I think I will just cut a little bit of this burlap. Do like it when it's just just coming apart a little bit. This makes it a bit more interesting. So stick the leaf down.
So these die cuts are, are from my friend Violet. Um, so I'm not sure, you know, what the dyes are, what she's, what she's used. Um, I normally tell her, you know, what project I'm going to be doing next. And then she'll do me all the dyes that, that I need. Maybe one day I might buy myself one, but um, I haven't really got the room for one. If I had one, I'd then have to buy um, another side or something for it to, to go. Right, I'm going to just cut it down a little bit. There. I'll just have it, have it there. So I'll put just a dab of glue. Let's just place that there. Nearly went upside down. Let me just pop pop that there. Pull that one off. That's so that's that. Uh, move these two out of the way that that I've done already. Put my pin back in. Right, so let's do do the card. So I'm just gonna cut. I get my other scissors. They're they're not very good for for that kind of stuff. to be on, on this side. So I'll just put, put a bit of glue down, down one edge. So press it down. Love that paper at the back of that. Really lovely. I'll stick stick that down and give it give it a good old press. Pen. Then we'll put Put a little leaf on the top, snip one of these off. I'll have that going across. Yeah. There we go. I can't find the hole. Oh dear me. Oh. There. So that's that one. So what's next? Oh, this is one that's got the bugs on. Right. We shall run the corners. So on, what day was it? I think it was Wednesday when the fairy video went up so we ended up doing it in in three parts i broke um making the set up into two parts and then the giveaway was the the third part and um yeah really 
enjoying it. I'm so glad that I asked the question to say, tell me a bit about yourself. I found it really, really interesting. Um, yeah, I've really, really liked it. it it's been nice. <clears throat> some people have put some really, you know, been quite detailed in, in things and that. And it, it just gives you a nice sense about, about the person. And I actually thought after, it's going to be a good place for me to refer back to. Um, you know, because I'm, I'm sure we all we all the same. I mean, I'm on, um, you know, I've got I've got the two two Etsy shops, Instagram, uh, Facebook, and then I've got a Facebook group or page, um, and then YouTube, and it's like it it's hard to. To keep, you know, to try and remember who's who and, and all the rest of it. So I thought, you know, if I knew something about that person, then I can think, oh, yeah, that's such and such. And, you know, they live at such and such or they like doing such and such. And it, then um, it just rings a bell with me. Um, so, yeah, I just thought that was a really, a really good way of, of remembering people so yeah um thanks so far everybody is is um is taken part um it will close f on friday um i'll come on and do a video friday on the um i want to use the the bigger glue that seems to be taking forever on the um, auto generator thing, which I've, I can't remember if that's what you call it or, or not. And then I shall announce the winner. And then I'll get it wrapped up and, and sent, sent out the, the following, following week. Glue down here. I was thinking about the covers for for when I do do the TNs for them, and the other day I was messing about a bit with with the papers, um, and I just cut cut a couple down to to size, um. And I'm not sure if I'm actually going to do the covers in in the back end papers rather than the fronts um, because I feel like if I do them, you know, on this side, apart from putting, um, you know, a nameplate in, there's not a lot else I could do with it um so yeah i'm thinking about possibly doing them um, in the back paper and then doing a bit a bit of a a collage or something on the front so um but i'll be ages until i've got enough pieces until i'm doing doing that but uh yeah i just thought um well i wanted to to know what the pieces had, had looked like um, you know, on the kind of size of a traveller's notebook to see if it actually it was too big or or not. I think a couple of the pieces might be a little bit too big that I've made so far, but um, I think my plan is I'm probably going to get to about week 15 and then make so many travellers notebooks of and then see what pieces don't fit in them and then I might do some A5 ones for the for the bigger pieces.
say about that. So I added around this one. I never used to round the corners and now I've started doing it um, I really do like it, it just tends to make it just look a bit a bit neater so that's that I think I was going to put a B on that one I'm just looking for Some burlap. Don't cut his leg off. This is like got a bit of a, a bit of a hem, so taking that those first one or two off make it a lot um, a lot flatter. Because it is, it is, you know, like a ribbon. Um, get a bit of eyelash. And I think I'll go in into that corner because there's not, not a lot going off there. So I won't be covering, covering that much up. But yeah, last week it seemed to absolutely fly. Um, it was it was a funny week really because it started off Monday, uh, and I think this is how I start off most weeks. I'm like full of energy, ideas, right? I'm back on track, back with you know going to bed. At, certain time getting up at a certain time eating remembering to take my meds uh you know getting whatever i'd set myself to do that day get the dog talk out um, and i'm brilliant on the monday and then yeah it just it tends to you know by wednesday everything's gone pear-shaped um but i have had a did have a couple of days last week where um, I wasn't hundred percent percent wow. Well. Um, I did end up having a full day in bed and a and a part day in bed, but um, I d I think it's been the humidity. Um, it's been quite stormy here, um, and it's been really humid and. I think it's something to do with the pressure or something, but it, it does seem to set set my pain off. So, yeah, I had, I had a couple of days of being, you know, really fatigued and, and then a lot of pain. Um, and I think the pain itself makes you fatigued. Um, cause it it it's it could be hard work. You know, it's exhausting being being in pain. So I think to all that. So yeah, um, I did manage really in the end to to get done what I'd set myself, you know, to get done done that week. Um, but yeah start again today <laughs> always start start the week with with best in intentions press that down Right, let's have a, 
a flower on this one. Right, I'm not going to press too hard because I just put rather a lot of glue on that. And I forgot to put the lid on that one. Not to put the lid on there, that's that one. That's it. So that is that one. See, see how long I've been filming for. Probably do, I'll do this, this one. Um... And then we'll we'll call it call it a day. I've only got one more to do to do after that, but I don't want it to to drag on. I think I mean personally, I like you know videos what are about the half an hour mark. Um, I don't mind longer ones, but I tend to watch the shorter ones. Um, quicker because I think when you've got a lot to watch I think right I'll I'll watch the the shorter ones first but then sometimes it you know when I'm working and, and stuff sometimes you just want a long video so it's on in the background just for just for some company really because I do like um putting people's videos on and crafting along while they're crafting and, and chatting. It's, it's good company. And I think, I mean, you know, obviously lockdown aside, but, um, you know, I don't know about most of you, but none of my friends craft. Um, really and and definitely not paper um crafting and you know the the few people that that i have said about junk journaling and and things um they, they just look at me vacant um so yeah obviously you know you've not i don't talk about crafting really at, at work and and stuff and you know friends and family I will kind of say what what I've been doing but I don't go into great great de detail because um you know that they're not not really that that interested so I do it's nice to have somebody's video on and it's um, I mean, I nod along when people are talking. <laughs> I'm not that bad. I, I don't start talking back to them. I'm not. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I do, you know, nod and smile. And, yeah, maybe I do talk back sometimes. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, yeah. Um, but, yeah, it is very, very good company. So, I think... You know the longer videos are very good for for that. It's um I don't know I, I guess a lot of you are but um been watching Roxy's uh you know Rachel at Roxy Creations hundred day um inspirational challenge. I think she's on about day 70 now. Um, I don't think I've put enough glue on there. And, I, you know, I'm about 20 days days behind um, watching. Um, I will eventually catch up. But, um, yeah, because I'm behind on them now, so... Perhaps when I finish videoing this, I'll I'll put them on, and you know I've one or two on my while I'm crafting, and then the kind of more tutorial shorter ones, um, you know I want to properly watch them, um, 
Because I think when you're crafting along, you don't fully watch. Um, so if there's something, you know, I, I want to try and or learn or I'm interested in, they're, they're the ones that, you know, I actually want to sit and sit and watch. Um, cause I think it was, well, one day last week, um, Tina from Shoppy Dabby Doodle has um, been doing a journal with Edith Holden. And um, I don't think she's ever used the papers. Well, no, she hasn't because she said she hadn't. So, um, you know, I'm a great lover of the Edith Holden books and, and that. And as soon as it popped up in my feed, I, I wanted to watch it. Um, and I, I watched it while I was working myself. And then after I thought, I've not actually watched that. So I'm, you know, I'm saving it for a time where, where I can properly, properly watch it. So I'm interested to see, see what she does with it. And Nancy from, oh, I forget what it is. Is it weeds and something? Um, I'll put the link actually in the description. She's doing Edith Holden as well at the minute. Um, and I've, I've saved them to watch. So they're, they're the kind of ones that I save for days where I don't feel very well. Um, so it's nice to have something to watch. Because I don't, I don't really watch telly now. Um, did start watching something on Netflix last week on, on my phone when I had um, a day in bed. I always forget that I've got Netflix uh, on my phone. And the good thing about watching it on your phone, even though it's small and you can't really see it, um, is that you can have that running in the background while you're flicking on YouTube or Instagram. Uh, whereas, you know, if you're watching a YouTube video, you can't, if a notification comes up, you know, like you've had a WhatsApp message or an email or whatever, as soon as you click onto that, it clicks you out of, of Facebook, with, uh, of YouTube, which I've, really find annoying because um, sometimes you know I'll have somebody message me on, on Etsy and you know they want to know something about you know have I posted or when can I post or whatever um, and you know they're just quick quick questions um, but they want you know answering sooner rather than than later so I get a bit frustrated with having to you know keep coming in and out so when I was watching Netflix I did remember then that um, you can actually flick in in and out of that so I shall probably start watching a bit a bit more um, Netflix so I do you love a good um, I'm into like psychological thriller type things um, and I do love a good a good documentary not really a film person um, they've got to be really good films for me to want to sit for two hours um, and, and watch them in the last film that I went to see was the um, Julie Garland film. Um, oh gosh, I sobbed all the way through it. Um, so yeah, it's I don't go to the cinema very often at all. Um, I 
not very good at staying awake to be quite honest <laughs> and when because it's warm and dark in there I just fall asleep um, my oldest children now um, who are grown ups um, they say you know when I used to take them to the cinema they'd go and sit right at the front we got quite a local cinema it is a bus ride away but um it's just a local you know little town um cinema and a lot of the time you go in there's hardly anybody in there it's really small um and they used to sit right at the front and i'd sit right at the back and i'd just fall asleep for the whole for the whole film <laughs> they used to laugh at me but uh, I think at the time because uh, I was a single parent at the time and I was working full time so <laughs> I think it was a bit of an excuse for me to uh, you know just catch up on, on some sleep so we always used to go, go and see you know the latest Disney films or cartoon type films so yeah it it does take me on my mind not to not to fall asleep um and then you know after i have so many trips to to the bathroom um so that puts me off watching films um when when we watch films at, at home we've started watching um Lord of the Rings again. It's the first time my youngest daughter is 12. It's the first time that, that she's watched them with us. But she's a big Harry Potter fan. Um, and she's forever watching and re-watching those DVDs. So we said to her, oh, you're perhaps, you know, like Lord of the Rings um, and The Hobbit. And we've, we have got them on DVD because I bought them my partner. And, um, yeah, I'm like, oh, can you just pause out? I need to go to the bathroom. Or can you just pause out? I need to make a cup of tea. And they get really fed up with me. <laughs> and then I forgot what's happened and they have to re-inform me of... <laughs> Of what's what's happened and where we're at and and stuff. So yeah, I don't I don't watch a lot of films, but um, I do love a good a good drama. So that's the ones that we've done. I don't know if to, I don't think I'm gonna put a trim on the bottom of of that. But um, I might just pop one ac across the bottom of. Oh, I keep losing, losing the ends. That's... Yeah, I think I'll just put one, one across there. So hopefully I've told you everything that I wanted to. I know I wanted to say about the giveaway, remind you that it's Friday that, that I'll be announcing the winner. And then I shall post it the following week. And just, you know, also massive thanks for all of you who subscribed and liked and commented on, you know, any video. It's, I really do, do appreciate it. I'll say I'm really enjoying it. It's a very good outlet, definitely. And I'm so glad that I did, you know, I just started the channel in just a couple of weeks before the... Um, staying in so it, it's it been really really good for me so that's well made made that one as well you got so that's them and so I'll finish the rest off well there's only one more and I shall speak to you soon thanks for hanging out see you soon bye